Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel and today welcome to a video that's been on the back burner for probably well over a month now. But as Nate Diaz dispute with the UFC goes on in terms of what he wants from a contract and looking for his next fight, I think there is no better time to do the Diaz Brothers showcase. So in our first fight we have a stereotypical Nate war, just standing and banging and I hope you guys enjoy that. And in the second fight, it's a more rounded performance from Nick Diaz, but both are equally good fights. I hope you enjoy the video. If you are new around there, please drop the video a like. And if you do enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel as it really helps me grow. Thanks guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. He is all about that left kick to the body. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Good punch lands. Man, how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years. Right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best strikers in the world. 27 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Diaz's shot is blocked. Now he touches him with the left. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to get... That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Now. Kick right under that right elbow. Lands a big right hand there. He got him. Effective strike there by Gaethje. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him. That shot is blocked by Diaz. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice elbow. Ooh, big shot land. Oh! Versus Justin, the highlight gauge. Ooh, what Whoa! a punch. got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh! Oh! Holy smoke! He's putting the sleep! Oh, man. This guy in pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Gaethje going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Wow. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. All right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Nate Diaz. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow, he lands another oh. leg kick. He's got one here. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. Oh! oh, he might be out. Diaz has got the full mount. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. You gotta be careful, armbar. Nicely done. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! He's a close. He's hurt bad. Oh! Nice liver shot. Whoa! He's out! You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Boy, Ty Plump. Look at the turtle in that kick. Big power shots landing. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Huge elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! Big punch lands for the middle. Oh, connects with the one-two. Oh, straight right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Wow! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough. 